you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja's way asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The goal of the next day is fade the background and become the focal point. Before I get to talking, y'all know how I talk about my prayer slash manifestation slash confirmation vase that I shake up in the mornings. I'm gonna do that with y'all, here we go. Here it is y'all, and what it is, like I told y'all before, I just placed my request in here, all the requests that I have given to God, source of all resources, and days that I need some confirmation that God had forgot about what I requested. I shake it up, I shake it up, because this is not a hopeful jar, let me say that. This is not a jar that you go to and say, I hope it's gonna happen. This is a jar that you know is going to happen. It's just a confirmation jar of your manifestations coming into your fruition. I did add a few things that I thought you maybe wanted me to add in here, but if there are some extra stuff that you want me to place in here, then in the comment section below, put in to one to five words, and I will put it in here. And days that I shake it up, who knows? I may just pull it out and you have your confirmation. And you could do this at home. It, trust me, it's a good way to boost your faith. It's a good way to continue trusting God. Because when you pull it out, you'll say, okay, God, thank you so much. And sometimes you may pull out stuff that you just prayed to God about. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And it's such a faith booster. It is. Okay, so let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Put it back. And let's see. This says, wait a minute. Oh, now I'm already married. Who been asking God about a husband? Come on, tell me. Who been saying, God, I'm looking for my husband. I'm not supposed to find him. He's supposed to find me. Who been praying about a husband? Dun, dun, da, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, da, dun. Somebody been praying for a husband. Who? Okay, I got you. All right. Congrats. Confirmation. God got that special one for you. The one that's designed specifically for you. Okay. You ain't got to look for him. That confirmation says that God is working on him. God is working on getting him to you. Okay. You get it. Got it good. Y'all got it. Okay. Now, that, now if that wasn't good news, now I can't really rejoice because I'm a eyes already, eyes already married. Okay. <laughs> but whoever it is out there who said, hey, listen, God, you know, I want to do right by you. Where's my husband? Confirmation. He on his way. Your king is on his way, queen. Okay? All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Fade the background and become the wet focal point. Now, listen, y'all. We in 2020 right now. In 2019, a lot of us experienced our backgrounds overshadowing us, which means what? We found ourselves doubting God, doubting ourselves, being stuck in a rut, feeling sorry for ourselves, in depression, feeling sad, feeling depressed, all because what? The background, that chitter chatter of fear, of doubt, the wrong type of people around us, things that were not aligning up with God. It did not align with God. Those things were surrounding us and it overshadowed us, which means what? We were hitting hidden weather in that background, right? Well, this year in 2020, you're going to a new level, right? A new height, which means what? Well, you were supposed to cross over with your mentor on point. That's all I'm saying. Going into the, what? The promised land. And because of that, you're going to have to make sure that your background is faded because what? When your background is faded, then what? You become the focal point, which means what? You stand out. And when you begin to stand out, which means what? You just align and connect that God is steering you, right? Which means what? Now the right people are going to come along and they'll be able to see who you are. They'll know who you are and they will begin to approach you. Why? Because now nothing will overshadow you. Because a lot of times y'all, if your background is too big and too huge and it's the wrong background, it will overshadow. It will overshadow you to where when people are looking to be a blessing to you, they won't be able to see you at all. They'll just see the background. That's why you feel like you've been being overlooked because what? You have been faded and been placed into your background. What you got to do is fade the background now. Fade the background and become the focal point. 
And I can guarantee you, once you do that, and like I said, that just means what? You getting and staying aligned and connected, which means what? God is at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you, that you're able to see within your journey with some clarity. And now you may not even have to put in a resume. People are going to find and seek you out. Why? Because now you're standing out. You are the focal point now. So y'all keep that in mind. This year, 2020, you become the focal point. Anything that is not lining up with what God's words has to say about you, it has to be faded. It does. It's not in alignment with God. And if it's not in alignment with God, and if you keep it with alone with you or what have you, it will keep you out of alignment, which means what? Now you will not be seen. You won't feel that you're worthy and you won't feel that you deserve what you're going to get. Okay? That's all I'm saying. So make sure you fade your background so that you can become the focal point. Thus, you'll be able to stand out and watch how many blessings and watch how many people, places, and things seek you out to bless you because now you're standing out and they can see you so boldly. They can see you boldly now, okay? All right, I hope y'all got this thing, but if you didn't, you better rewind and watch again. Listen, in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Listen, y'all see my background. This is what? Inhale. Exhale, what? The best is yet to come. Now what? Inhale, exhale, and know that that thing is serious. It is, it is. And congrats to that young lady who's been praying about that husband. You about to get him. Yes, you are. But make sure you right. Keep yourself together. Keep yourself snatched. <laughs> and keep your mental on point. Talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. See y'all tomorrow. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.